some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video takes us to Russellville, Kentucky with Jeremiah Payne, aka Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. Now, apparently he and his family have been living at uh, his mother's house for the past few weeks ever since their arrest. But they forgot to tell the landlord. And you know how this kind of situation can be. You gotta let the landlord know about anybody extra that's in the apartment or house or whatever. And now he's being kicked out on his butt by the landlord. And then you know what? He's blaming all the trolls for it, too. Instead of taking a look in a mirror and uh, seeing who's actually responsible. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, I don't know if everybody saw the community post that I had put up earlier today, but then took down because the trolls were tearing the comments up on it. But, uh... They found out where my mom lived, and uh, so many people called the office of the apartments of where my mom lives that me and my wife have to leave my mom's. They have given us till in the morning to get out. It was where we were supposed to be out today, but considering... We don't have a car and can't just pack up and go. Um, we got them to give us till 12 o'clock tomorrow. Till noon tomorrow. So I don't know if you guys seen all that earlier, but you can hear the wind. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm outside. Oh, yeah. Blame all the trolls for the situation you're in. You know, you're not going to get ahead in life until you uh, man up and accept responsibility for your own actions and correct them. And seeing as how that you uh, can't seem to do that, you may want to try the uh, next best option and uh, get that little girl into a better home. One where she's going to have a roof over her head and a family that really cares for her. I mean, this is all about her now. You guys have screwed up your life. Don't screw hers up. It's like the trolls have nothing better to do, guys, than to try to make our lives ten times fucking worse than what it was to begin with. If you know what I mean. Now, my mom, who wanted us here we came to my mom's because she asked us to she had even talked to the office and the office had agreed to let us stay to help my mom because of her health and um they agreed to it and then because of the amount of trolls that found when whoever told where we were whatever figured out where we were um and put it out for all the other trolls to know so they could call. Um, so many troves called the office to the point. It pissed them off to the point. They actually called police. Because so many people were calling. And uh, that's. Now we're no longer allowed to hear because of it. They're now saying my mom is in violation of her leash. Because of it. When we went down there and talked to the manager. She told us that people were calling saying that we were meth heads, that we were criminals and blah. I think that, you know, the trolls like to say about people who film cops. There's an old saying, if the shoe fits, wear it. Now, my question to you is, you've been unemployed all this long. How is it that you haven't been able to find a job anywhere, even at a fast food restaurant, when they're hiring constantly? Are you able to pass the UAs when they ask you to take the urinary analysis? Are you able to make sure that you don't have those things in your system when you uh, apply for a job? Yeah, it's kind of interesting that you've been unemployed for this long and haven't been able to find a job. I mean, come on now. I think I'm the most hated auditor there is out there. Seriously. Yeah, they want a bitch that I don't have a job, that I need a job to take care of my family. But here's the thing, guys. 
I was supposed to start a job tomorrow in Russellville. Well, we're going to end up going back to Tennessee because there's only two hotels in Russellville and there's no vacancy at either one of them. So our only choice is to go back to Tennessee, only we're going deep into Nashville on the other side of Nashville and nobody will ever know our exact lo location other than Nashville. And we'll make damn sure of that. And now that me and Chili are friends, it's gotten even worse because they want to come at me saying, oh, I'm, I licked Chili's ass and blah, blah, blah. Man, Chili was a good friend that helped me out of jail, you know. I can say a lot more for Chili than I can a lot of other auditors who did nothing. A lot of other auditors who made a lot of money off my videos who did nothing to help me. And Chili was there for me. Uh, yeah, uh, that was really nice of Chili to uh, do that fundraiser for you. I mean, I just want to know how much money he grifted off of you after he got enough to get your bail. Perhaps we'll never know that. And then not only did Chili get me out of jail, he also then d did a fundraiser on his channel so we could get the money to save our stuff that was in our hotel room. So Chili is the man in my book. Come on, guys. 61 people in this room. Smash that like button. Smash that like button, guys. I just don't understand why Troves has got to be that way, guys. Hey, you guys. There's my PayPal. There's my Cash App. If any of you guys want to help out or can help out, we got to get at that. We got to be out of here tomorrow. We got to get a hotel room somehow. And like I was saying, dude, they want to go on that we don't have jobs and shit. And just as I was supposed to start a job in Russellville tomorrow, uh, guess what? We're having to pack up and move back to Tennessee. And, you know, without a car, I damn sure ain't going to be able to make it back and forth to work in Russellville every damn day. And even still, with a car, it would the job don't pay that much an hour, so it wouldn't be worth driving from Nashville to Russellville every day. It, it's like they know this shit, and they're like, all right, let's fuck his life up even more. So he'll have to make a video. He'll have to go live asking for help. And we can have more content about him. We get to put LDO up in the title of our videos and get more views. Well, now, there you have it, folks. Straight out of the horse's mouth. Blaming everybody else for his own issues. If he would just straighten his act up and uh, perhaps put a little bit more effort into actually finding a job rather than going on these auditor expeditions, then probably he would be in a better position right now. But that's not him. That's not who he is. He's going to be a deadbeat for the rest of his life. That's just the way he wants to live. Well, at any rate, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.